Hi everyone, my name is Chris Zerbrig, and in this series of tutorials, I will be exploring in detail Qt5 and PySci2 for Maya. So first, what is Qt? Well, from Wikipedia, Qt is a cross-platform application framework and widget toolkit for creating classic and embedded graphical user interfaces and applications that run on various software and hardware platforms with little or no change in the underlying code base. Basically, it lets you write code for one operating system, Windows, Mac, Linux, that can run on other operating systems without having to modify the code. And when developing for multiple platforms, this is a huge time saver. Now, Qt can do a lot of things, but what it is most known for is building user interfaces. For example, the UI in Maya is built on Qt. This is one of the reasons it is so easy to extend Maya using Qt. Starting with Maya 2017, Autodesk switched to Qt5 and PySide 2. Previously, it was using Qt4 and PySide. All of these tutorials will use Qt5 and PySide 2, so you will need to be using, at a minimum, Maya 2017. At the time of this recording, I am using Maya 2018 Update 3. And for those of you who don't already know, PySide 2 is a Python binding for Qt5. Since Qt5 is written in C++, these bindings simply allow you to use the Qt libraries in Python. This is a Python series, and it does assume viewers are familiar with Python. No knowledge of Qt or PySide is necessary though. I will be starting with the basics, the boilerplate code if you will, for displaying a Qt dialog in Maya and moving on from there. The level of these tutorials will range from beginner to advanced as I move from one topic to the next. Some videos will be standalone lectures, while others will be mini projects broken down into multiple videos. Most of the time I will be using Charcoal Editor 2 when coding. Of course, this is not a requirement. Charcoal Editor 2 is a plugin for Maya that replaces the native script editor, and it is something that I originally wrote over frustration with Maya's script editor. 